And when it's 7 a.m., we'll be looking at the national dailies to review them. And thanks for joining us on Past Parties in Politics. I am Oge Ihime Pim. The national chairman of the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, Abdullah Adamu, has raised concerns over the gale of defection that hit the party in the last few days, particularly at the National Assembly. Adamu met with the National Assembly lawmakers on Wednesday, saying there was nothing the party can do to stop the exodus. About 28 lawmakers, both in the Senate and in the House of Representatives, have dumped the APC in the last one week. The Independent National Electoral Commission, ANIC, has presented certificates of return to the governor elect of the Ekiti State Governorship election, Biodun Oyebanji, who promised to deliver the dividends of democracy to the people of Ekiti State. <music> the umbrella body of registered political parties in Nigeria, the Inter Party Advisory Council, IPAC, has called on agreed political parties to seek redress in court as the Social Democratic Party, SDP, says a governorship election should be rejected as the process was characterized by vote buying and selling. This kind of carnage, this kind of height of unpatriotism would have come down, but it's going higher and higher simply because there is no deterrence. This government have no created deterrence for those that are buying votes. And the president should know, and it is a record, that throughout his tenure, he has been conducting the worst election ever in the history of Nigeria. And that record will certainly go down with him. Nigerians yearn for a new lease of life and dividends of democracy, not daylight robbery of their mandate as obtainable today in Ekiti and across the country. The court is the temple of justice and the beacon of hope for all aggrieved and deprived citizens, council urges aggrieved candidates and their political parties to approach the Ekiti State Governorship Election Petition Tribunal for redress and never resorts to self-help as we collectively con should consolidate our emerging democracy. The House of Representative Committee on INEC says the Independent National Electoral Commission, ANEC, has agreed to extend the ongoing voter registration by 60 days in line with the resolution of the House. The update was presented at the House plenary on Wednesday. It has become imperative that it, it has to be extended, and not just extending, but also add, additionally, it will be done even during weekends. So that extension also involves additional machines, additional ad hoc staff, and of course he's going to collaborate with the security agencies. From the fillers that I'm getting, it appears INEC is even threatening to appeal against that judgment, jettisoning even the resolution that will pass on this floor. If, if they appeal, if they don't appeal. If they don't appeal, then the extension is uh, continuous. If they do appeal, then the 30 days or however many days they've agreed to is what will comply with. That's the package for today. Join us same time tomorrow for more. I am Ogie Ihimekme.